What's going on guys, Elijah Porter here and welcome back to the channel. Today it's just me and the pup and we have a very packed day. But as of right now, we are just relaxing on our porch. It is a beautiful day. It's like 68 degrees and sunny. It's absolutely gorgeous weather. If you are not living in South Florida, you are honestly missing out. But right now I'm waiting for a video to finish uploading, a video that you guys will have already seen about the new rims on my car. But anyway, we have a packed day today. First of all, we are heading to Exotics on Los Olas, one of the premier car events in South Florida. It's gonna be a huge car show. Some of the best cars in the world are gonna be there. And also we have the Mexican Grand Prix today. I think it starts at two o'clock. So I've got to get to Exotics on Los Olas, get all my filming done and try to make it back here before two o'clock. So let's go ahead and get going. So I am now on my way to the event in my 2001 Porsche 911, and it occurred to me that some of you guys might not know what Exotics on Los Olas is and might be confused if you're not from around here. So essentially, Los Olas is like a road. It's the main strip kind of in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Essentially, it's like the, the nightlife hub in downtown Fort Lauderdale. And so every year, well, this is the fourth annual event, but every year they do Exotics on Los Olas, which essentially is where they shut down a couple city blocks on Los Olas and have an exotic car show. And um, last year they estimated 40,000 people were there. Last year was a uh, two day event. Today is only Sunday, um, but there's gonna be a ton of people there. Bugatti had a whole booth there last year that I unfortunately did not get to, get to go into. The Savage Garage team, if you follow them on YouTube, uh, they're gonna be there today with all their cars. So it's gonna be a really big event. And essentially it's a collaboration between many different companies and sponsors, and they raise money for the Wounded Veterans Relief Fund. Um, the event is always the weekend of uh, Veterans Day. So it's gonna be a great time, a great event. So I can't wait to catch up with you guys when we get there. Right, guys i haven't even made it down to the show yet and already i have seen some absolutely amazing cars i saw that white f430 back there that uh, 911 gts in uh, miami blue so i can't even wait to see what we have actually at the show So if you guys did not know, like when I was younger, my family was like very Volkswagen. My dad had like a bus and also an old Beetle and like a, a Volkswagen Rabbit and stuff. Uh, he had a double cab. So my family was like very into Volkswagen. So the old Volkswagen buses always really catch my eye. Best cars of the day right there. One horsepower each. Perfect. I don't know what this thing is, but it's crazy. It's like just completely enclosed. It's hard to get a good shot of it because like everybody's in the way of it, but I don't know what it is. I 
I know as like a car enthusiast, I probably shouldn't like the Bentayga, but something about it is just really awesome. It looks really luxurious. It's probably way overpriced, but I really like the blue with these gold rims. Here's something you don't see every day, a Ultima, which is like a crazy kind of race car, but also I think they're road legal, but this thing is absolutely insane. There's a couple of like crazy racing uh, 911s. We got a, I'm not sure which model this is, but this is a GT3 street uh, cup car. That's pretty awesome. Definitely not a big Mustang fan, but this is pretty sweet. I love the uh, the matte gray on it. It looks awesome. The wheels look great, and I like it's got a subtle like blue accents like on the brake calipers and stuff. behind me this isn't a real formula one car but it is a like simulator car so you can see it's got the screens hooked up it's got the force feedback it's set up to do like all the tilting and stuff for a formula one car um it does say it has like real f1 tires but i mean it's pretty cool that that's like a simulator i wish i could like get one of those in my house that would be amazing Behind me is one of my favorite Porsches of all time. This is a 997, I believe it's a GT3 RS. It's definitely one of my favorite Porsches ever. Uh, I would love to own one of these one day, but they're crazy expensive, but it looks awesome. If you guys didn't know, the A12 Superfast is like one of my dream Ferraris, and I always go back and forth on like what spec I would pick, but this white with red interior is like really catching my eye. It looks like awesome. Um, yeah, this, this would definitely be up there if I was trying to spec my own, the white with red leather. I also really like the wheels. This is what I kind of hope will be my first Ferrari eventually. I love the spec, the red with the tan interior. Uh, I do want a spider as well. The only thing that's missing is no gated manual transmission, but the values of these are kind of creeping up. So this might kind of be unattainable um, in the near future. But a couple of years ago, they weren't that unattainable, but they're definitely going up in value. But I think it looks great. I don't think it looks you know dated at all. I think it looks fantastic still. very possible that the 356 is my favorite car of all time it's the perfect looking car for me i love um old porsches and uh the 356 has always been my favorite for sure uh, and i don't know i always go back and forth whether i have a coupe or a convertible this coupe looks awesome i'm not sure what year this one is but it is a 356 sc um yeah and i love it
Savage Garage team is here as well. If you haven't checked out their YouTube channel, you definitely should. They all make awesome videos with their supercars. A lot of their cars are here and I'm definitely gonna show them to you guys. But yeah, they all seem super nice. You guys should definitely check out their videos if you haven't already. Behind me right here, this is also Randy Savage's uh, Group B Rally Recreation. It's of a uh, Audi Quattro. They have an awesome video of it on their channel, but this is basically a recreation of the Audi Quattro that did rallying back in the you know 80s. The car looks fantastic. You really couldn't tell that it's a recreation. But yeah, Group B Garage has an Instagram page, so you definitely should check it out. And of course, Savage Garage has a video on the car as well. This is a supercar I have not seen in person until today, and arguably this is the world's first supercar. Of course, this is a Lamborghini Miura. Love the green color, looks awesome. But yeah, I've never seen one until today, so this is kind of special, especially if you're a car person, to see a Lamborghini Miura. Uh, it's a very rare car, a very expensive car, and yeah, this one looks awesome. Like, imagine driving this around in the 1960s. So there's so much here like I'm not going to be able to show you guys everything in the video I'm just gonna be able to kind of show you guys whatever I can and the stuff that's my favorite but yeah there's so much awesome stuff here if you guys have never been to this show and you are local down here you got to come even if you're from a couple hours away like it is definitely worth getting down here and coming to this show because it is crazy I told you guys that I am a big like classic Porsche fan, but I'm actually not that big of a classic of Ferrari fan, which I know might be kind of blasphemous for me to say because, you know, but um, I only really know a couple of the models. Um, I'm just not that interested in classic Ferraris. I love modern ones, basically from like the 90s and on, but I'm not a big fan of classics, but there are some cool ones here. So I'll show you guys, of course. spec Ferrari it is a f430 spider with the gate manual red over tan and again this is a car that I thought you know eventually I might be able to uh, get but they are going up in value especially with the gate manual so this car right here is an a12 super uh, a12 GTS and uh, the guy in the blue jacket right here, he actually owns it. He runs a YouTube channel and a Instagram page as well, G uh, GT Dreamer. And uh, the color of this car is actually custom for him. Um, I think he called it Santana Blue, but the spec on this car is awesome. I love blue with yellow. The blue with yellow Ferrari thing's really growing on me. So I haven't featured any motorcycle content on my channel in a while and uh, that's a mistake by me but I do have exciting news on my own personal cafe racer coming so stay subscribed and stay tuned for that but this behind me is a cone racer CHO sorry C-O-H-N and uh, I talked to these guys a couple years ago at Dosra and Treffen and they um, actually are making these custom it's basically a Harley Sportster if I'm not mistaken um, 
turn into a cafe racer and the materials and the build quality on these are fantastic i would love to get my hands on one i don't exactly remember what the msrp is if i remember i'll put it down on the screen below but it's an absolutely fantastic bike and obviously it's it's gorgeous but uh you guys that subscribed to my channel originally for motorcycle content there is more coming i promise and exciting news on my cafe racer soon to come ago at a art festival that I was at and I took some pictures of it and stuff and uh, I didn't I meant to upload them to Instagram and I totally forgot uh, but I will be posting pictures on my Instagram page you can always follow me at Elijah Porter official and uh, but yeah I, I totally forgot to upload them but I love this GT3 RS I love the green accents the seats on the inside have the green accents as well um, yeah it looks super cool okay, this GT3 is gorgeous and I believe this color is a shark blue um, the channel Seen Through Glass has an awesome video that he did. A, he did a couple videos um, on this car uh, in shark blue. But yeah, one of my favorite Porsche colors right now. you guys before like on the channel i'm not a huge lamborghini fan but there are two that i absolutely love number one is the lamborghini murcielago roadster specifically and also a uh, the diablo and the diablo is kind of more of a nostalgic thing just because it's like the lamborghini from when i was born uh but yeah this uh this yellow uh convert uh roadster is just awesome i love it it is the e-gear not a uh, not a manual but the manuals are super super rare um so yeah this is awesome This is another one of my favorite of the like modern classic Ferraris, this 575 Marinello. Love the yellow. Yellow is really growing on me a lot lately. I know I say I love like every car and then I love every color, but I just, I'm a huge car fan.
Well, what an absolutely insane show. I was actually scrambling at the end because my phone was literally on like 1% battery and I vlog with my phone on a uh, DJI Osmo gimbal and uh, just happened that I was standing right there when Randy Savage decided to get into that Group B rally car and start revving it and I was right there. My phone literally died like right after that. But what an insane car show. Able to see all three of the holy trinity of hypercars, the P1, the 918, the LaFerrari. Tons of stuff I didn't get. I think I counted like 300-ish cars. So obviously Obviously, all of those could not make it in the video. I just showed you guys all my favorites. If you live down here, you got to come to this next year if you didn't come this year. And you also got to check out Supercar Saturdays. The next one will be on November 13th um, at the shops at Pembroke Gardens in Pembroke Pines, Florida. But anyway, guys, do me a favor. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. Also, subscribe for all of my adventures on two wheels, four wheels, or no wheels at all. Bye.